Welcome back to a Global Business Report. The Nigerian equities are trading positive yesterday. Things may be looking up for the markets as it winds down events for 2019 and prepare for the coming year, which is just in a few days. Rutimi Fakaejo, our CEO, Enterprise Stockbrokers, joins me in the studio to discuss how the market fared this year as well as projections for 2020. It's good to have you with us. Pleasure. All right, uh, let's take a look at, uh, you know, just looking back in uh, 2019. Uh, what were the main narratives that dictated the pace at the Nigerian stock market? Well, I think uh, the election year mm. was one major factor. Yeah. Then also the varying uh, CBM policies mm. also dictated another pace. I think one of such is the LDR, the loan to deposit ratio. Mm which, and uh, we know fully well that um, the banking sector stocks mm. are the major drivers of the markets, and that had a lot of impact. And um, also, the liquidity squeeze mm. that refused to come to the capital markets yeah. is also equally another factor. Mm. Then, uh, the big one, the very positive, mm. uh, several years back, we've not had the kind of big listings yeah. that we had in MTN and ETA. Mm -hmm. And so it was, that happened to be the talk of the day, or mm -hmm. talk of the year for the market. Yeah. And if not for those two listings, mm -hmm. it would have been very, very terrible mm -hmm. for the outlook of the market for the year 2019 that we are seeing. Yeah. yeah, be that as it may, uh, two big listings in the telecom sector, no doubt. But um, how have they fared? You know, there was much fanfare when they first came in, but uh, later on it was just like uh, the normal days at the market, as it were. Yeah, I think uh, at the time we saw uh, the day MTN got listed, mm. gained straight 10%, and uh, the price cleared up to as much as almost 150 mm. at the time. And um, it continued, that trend it stabilized, mm. then it started winding down. Um, so far, MTN as a listing mm. has been very successful. It has liquidity in the market. If you follow the trend every day, we have sizable volume being traded. Mm. But it isn't the same story for Etel and Nigeria, or Etel Africa. All right. uh, in the case of Etel Africa, yes, they came, they listed, but the liquidity in, of that stock is very, very much challenged. Mm. Um, investors are not really keen in buying yeah. or selling, as the case was, mm. and unlike MTN Nigeria. Yeah. So I think um, the two listings, yes, they added to the market capitalization. Right. They also enhanced the Osher index. Okay. But uh, so far, they joined the trail mm. of what the market had been mm -hmm. before they got listed. So, and they We've been having it that way since then. Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag between those two, yeah. no doubt. So uh, there's always the issue of uh, weak economic sentiments uh, regarding the fortunes of the markets uh, every now and then. So how would you assess this scenario in 2015? 2019. 2019, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's very good. Um, well, I think uh, for me, mm. uh, the, mark, the economy is very weak okay. in most aspects of it. Mm. First, as touching the capital markets, yeah. we know fully well that um, the foreign portfolio investors determine the pace in the market. Mm. And uh, if they foresee anything that may happen to the currency, True. Nigerian currency, then they take a seat back mm. and watch what will happen. Uh, a lot of foreign portfolio investors are very apprehensive mm -hmm. of the fact that, of the likelihood that the Naira may be further devalued. Mm. So for that, they have stayed off. Right. And we also uh, saw a movement of funds initially in the beginning of the year yeah. from the frontier markets which Nigeria belongs to mm. and the uh, emerging markets to the developed markets. Mm -hmm. So a lot of investors withdrew and uh, that didn't all go away for Nigeria. Yeah. They've returned to some markets, but they've not actually make, made a kind of comeback we are expecting for Nigerian markets. Yeah. So uh, the weak... Uh, purchasing power of Nigerians vis-a-vis -vis inability to save mm -hmm. because it is with savings that you're supposed to make investments in the stock market. True. So without weakness, be more pronounced. I think to a great extent, mm. the Nigerian capital market has never felt it like this before. Indeed. 
You're still talking about those two issues, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the lack of savings and, of course, the purchasing power as well. And still linking it to the inflationary f uh, trends now, what has been its impact on market fortunes? Uh, we've seen an up and down uh, movement uh, with inflation so far. So, but how have uh, investors been reacting to this? Uh, well, I think um, it, in terms of inflation, yeah. uh, the market has not really been very responsive. Okay. Though there is Res um, uh, response to the fluctuation, but at the same time, like for instance, we saw it come, we saw the inflation mm. trending up okay. in the last uh, report that was released by NBS. All right. uh, and um, almost immediately on Monday, mm. we saw the market go up. I mean, day, yesterday we saw the market go up, mm. and today it's trending down. Day before okay. yesterday, it was trending down as well. Mm. But be that as it may, I believe strongly that uh, a lot of things are much more in play that almost supersedes the effect of the inflationary trend. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, is a uh, CBM policy, which yeah. I talked about earlier on, yeah. as touching uh, loan to deposit ratio from yeah. banks. Uh, what ordinarily will have happened with the system now awash with liquidity? Mm -hmm. So I've been expected that um, the, uh, some of those funds mm -hmm. will find its way to the equity market. Yeah. Yes, some did actually find its way back into the equity market. Okay. But for the reason that um, the volatility of the market over time has really been an issue. For instance, we saw uh, the price of a GT at a time mm -hmm. during the year at about 32, 33. Okay. And at the time, it came to almost 25. Mm. So investors, when they make little profit in their investment in the equity market right mm -hmm. now, they quickly want to opt out and actualize that profit. Wow. So that's action had been what has been keeping the market down. Okay. Because if you look at the aggregate value being traded mm. since the beginning of the year to date, it's not too much different from what was done last year. Okay. So the volume and value to an extent is there, but the, uh, the apprehension that people have mm. concerning how the market will fare over time. Yeah. So as soon as they actualize some profit, mm -hmm. they come back to sell. And that's what the price. The price. Okay. So a lot of people don't actually trust the ability of the market to move very fast as it was in previous years. So it's those mixed uh, uh, reactions that have actually made the market to be this way. And also that in itself had almost overshadowed the effect of inflationary uh, factor. Very good. And now looking back, uh, investors' reaction to uh, the CBN's directive barring uh, local investors from investing in open market operations, that's the automobiles. Uh, what do you make of that scenario? Uh, did it have a direct influence on uh, how uh, things uh, went with, with the capital market, as it were? Yes, uh, but not the, it's not as pronounced as we we'll have expected it to okay. be. Yeah. Um, that's in the sense that um, if now the, what you get mm. for a fixed on a fixed deposit is in the neighborhood of three to four percent or three to five percent in some banks. And there is there are companies listed on the exchange yep. that can actually do a dividend yield of twelve percent, fifteen percent, as the prices are right now. One of such is Zenith Bank. Uh, the last time uh, uh, Dangote also is part of it, the last time Dangote cement paid dividend, they paid yep. a dividend of sixteen naira. Okay. And the present price of the ma of Dangote cement now in the market yeah. is 140 naira. Right. So when you look at that, that is almost 11 percent. Okay. So ordinarily, we'll have expected that investors will opt to come and buy and get a higher return okay. that they would get if they put their money in treasury bill hmm. or even fix their deposit. But we are not getting that kind of that much response because yeah. of the volat volatility in the market that has always pervaded the uh, uh, all other factors. Mm. Interesting uh, development there. Now uh, earlier on, you were talking about uh, the issues with uh, investors uh, not trusting some aspect of uh, uh, transaction, as it were, uh, which invariably leads me to the issue of uh, managing the uh, exchange itself in terms of the management and encouraging people to at least give them more options regarding uh, the scenario, as you've explained. So uh, was the management also proactive in uh, you know, encouraging some sort of uh, confidence more in the market in view of the current uh, narratives? Uh, well, I think um, given to the 
um, Securities and Exchange Commission, True. and also the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Yeah. Um, they've deployed every assistant that has yielded a result. Mm. But also, I would say the, uh, the effect is not pronounced because of the previous events that had happened in the market. All right. So many stocks have not recovered since the uh, market meltdown in mm. 2009. And some investors, investments have been lost. Okay. So that fear, that apprehension is mm -hmm. what has kept people back. But the NSC and the SEC will keep on pushing in their um, uh, um, investors' education pursuit. Okay. So that at least more and more people will get mm -hmm. to know more about the market and that will result to more participation. Yeah. In view of the, the current scenario with the market and uh, under the review, uh, the current uh, year on the review 2019, um, yes, some stocks uh, were able to hold their own despite uh, all of this uh, issue. So, which one at the top of the heart, uh, you know, can you actually point to that actually did well, optimally to a large extent, to weather the uh, storm of uh, bearish uh, sentiment? Uh, well, the one that will have uh, quickly come to mind, mm -hmm. unfortunately, had already left the market, oh. which is a Dangote flower. Okay, uh, it did very well, and. Um, until the time that it was delisted, mm -hmm. when the majority shareholder okay. decided to opt out and put, I mean, give his holdings to uh, Olam. Okay. Um, I think, again, in the banking sector, All right. uh, Access Bank mm -hmm. has, been, has done very well because yeah. of, at the time, the, uh, the average price of Access Bank this year mm -hmm. had been about seven era. And right now is doing 960 or almost 10 era. Okay. So it has done pretty well. Mm. And um, I think uh, hardly the only other ones that are the very penny stocks, yeah. and those ones are not what uh, the uh, are really has volume and value mm. that can actually impact on the okay. NSC or share index and the market capitalization. Indeed, interesting development there uh, for the year 2019. Uh, Rutemi Fakejo, uh, stockbroker, I'd like to thank you very much for your insight on these issues. Good to have you.